I think I can say I'm quite excited that we brought together this group. As someone in the group commented, it was an amazing group of people that came together, uh, an unpredictable mix, as is the case often with these sort of community-based projects. And it was exciting that we had this overlap of people. There were a set of people we found through my connections in Turkey, a set of people who we found through the more local Italian activist community, in particular Pope John Twenty Third community and Operation Dove. And then there was another uh, set of people or a few people who we found more through Quaker circles, which was really an interesting mix because they were coming from not only three different countries, but also three different orientations. So that was exciting for me, and I thought the conversations that we had amongst the participants were especially rich. And for me, actually, that's one of the reasons why I'm excited about this kind of training, because that, to my mind, is the most important part of what happens, is the coming together of a group of people who care about this issue, in this case, migrants, and dealing with the issues of healing from violence um, but then the other piece that I was excited about is, yes, we were able to give some information that a lot of people, you know, the, the uniform uh, response or the overall response of our uh, participants was really appreciative and, and felt as if what we talked about information-wise was useful, definitely practical and applicable. So I'm always very pleased when I feel people have, you know, give, give the feedback that the work is practical and applicable for them immediately. So I felt excited about that. And I felt very excited that um, it seems as if it's possible that this could be the seed of further conversations amongst a group of, of uh, active people across a number of different countries, coming from a variety of different orientations, but all with a strong commitment to working with people who are survivors of violence and who want to move towards more peace and a more nonviolent, peaceful and resilient community building approach to dealing with our diversity. So we hit all the notes I could have hoped for. So that was very exciting. So I'm quite pleased. I've never worked um, directly with uh, Kirsten or the Upupa group before. So for me, it was a first time. Kirsten, I had taken a yoga class actually from Kirsten in the past. So that's how I knew her and we had been friends. But it was fun to see that we actually were able to work together quite well. It was lovely to see how much the group enjoyed and said they benefited from the yoga and the breathing exercises. So that was very pleasing. Um, and the Upupa group did a ma marvelous job of taking care of the logistics, feeding us beautifully, you know, mostly vegan <laughs> food. They took care of an enormous number of dietary uh, quirks that our group had and just did a lovely job of making everyone feel very comfortable, which, by the way, also feels to me like a super important component of this training. People who are helpers often do not take very good care of themselves, unfortunately, which is the whole reason we did this training, in order to counteract that kind of uh, lack of self-care that can lead to burnout or people dropping out of the field. So it was exciting that the Upupa group was such a wonderful support and you know held us so very well making us all feel as if taking care of ourselves can actually be a community building activity, not just some kind of selfishness. So that was lovely. I'm a very practical person, so I really wanted to be sure that we came out of this training with some pretty clear goals about what's next. So our last activity um, in the training group was to get each member of the training group to identify some specific practical steps that they would be personally taking after this training within the next few days. Actually, we set up a one-week deadline 
um, to continue working with the material. And we had among the group, for instance, people who are planning to give, uh, pass this information along. Actually, there were even a couple of people in the training who have a pre-scheduled training with others where they'll be taking some of the materials. I just passed over some of the materials to one of those people who will be taking it into another training of other peace volunteer activist types in the local area. So that's lovely. Um, a couple of individuals in the training had already begun thinking about some specific projects and identified particular ways that they could move those projects forward. A woman in the UK has a music uh, video project that she's gonna be doing with um, people in the a particular part of London who will be working with her and she saw some steps she could take to move that forward. Our Turkish participants are very enthusiastic about a couple of plans that they have. So it was very satisfying to see some specific projects that may be moved ahead because of this. Plus, then after the training formally was closed, we began conversations with some folks from Croatia, in addition to folks from our group, about how we can um, continue to work very specifically towards uh, doing more networking among people who are involved with serving migrants around Europe and Turkey so that we can uh, continue to develop and uh, build on the work that we did here. So we've, we've identified a lot of practical next steps.